Okay, friends, once again, a very good evening to all of you. And once again, today we will be learning some very, very interesting Excel tips and tricks. So in next few minutes, I'm going to show you the tips and tricks which will really be beneficial for you. And this you can implement or use directly from tomorrow in your office. Okay, so let's start with the first issue which we regular face in Excel and how do you solve in a very, very simple way. Okay, so I go to my next sheet and my first sheet over his serial number issue. This is the issue which when I take a corporate session in companies, they always ask me, Ramzan, this is the problem and give us the best solution. And the problem is this. They say, Ramzan, we have a data and I want a serial number. So for example, I type one and then I type two. Normally people do this way and then they select this way. They come on the corner and they double click. This is a normal way. You will say, Ramzan, we know this way. But in this way, there is one big problem. They say, Ramzan, if I want to delete any rows in between, this is a big problem. When we delete row number five and six or serial number five and six, and when I say control minus to delete, see what happens. It deletes the row, but our serial number gets a problem. After four, I deleted five and six, and now directly seven came, which is not wrong. You deleted both, but they say, Ramzan, automatically this should become six, this should become seven. How do you do dynamically? So somebody said, okay, Ramzan, we can use a formula. So the people also try this formula. They type one, they say equal this plus one. So what will happen? It will become two. You will double click. So will this formula change your, uh, solve your issue? Let's try. So I delete this both serial number eight and nine row. And I say control minus to delete a row. But in this also, the, in this, so there is more problem. It comes the reference error because it does not find the above row. So this is the issue. How do you solve this issue? I will show you three magical way and you will say, wow, this is amazing. And all new things I'm going to show you. Okay. The first way is using a row formula. So if you will see my first row in light color, I have already mentioned that and I am going to give you this. So don't worry. The first way is this. You will just say equal row, open a bracket, close a bracket. This might be a new formula for you, but it's very simple. Just say equal row, open a bracket, close a bracket and press enter and you will get three. So you will say Ramzan, we need one first, right? So over here, you have to say minus two because you are in a third row. So it gave you the row number. So you say minus two and press enter. That's all. Want to see the magic? I come on the corner and I just double click and it dragged. Let me show you. And now if I delete this both the row, you see some magic will happen. I say control minus. Wow. This became a problem. This became a problem, but here automatically after six, seven, eight, nine got continued. Interesting. This is one way. Want to know more? You have more ways. And now I will show you more interesting way. So here you will say, Ramzan, what happens? You know, I put a row and then I have to come here and I have to double click and drag. Do you have any better way that I don't have to double click only also? So I will give you more better way. Wait. So now here there is another interesting way, another interesting formula, which again will be new for many of you. Those who are expert to might be using another is equal sequence formula. I don't know if you have heard this or know this formula name. You just say equal sequence, but you should know what is the last row number. So I go here and I say three, two, zero, five is the row number, for example. So I say over here equal and I say sequence three, two, zero, three. I just put the row numbers. How many you want? Should I press enter? 
wow done it's not this magical directly until and you get the row numbers you don't have to do anything so you don't have to double click also interesting so you will say ramzan what you know i have to come down and i have to see what is the row number do you have any more dynamic formula that i don't have to see the row number also automatically excel should take the row number and should fill i don't want to do anything i will say yes i will give you the more magical way so here is the final formula and you are going to love it equal and you will say sequence okay and here you will put one more formula with sequence count and you will say come here and you will select entire thing control shift down control shift down entire close the bracket close the bracket press enter so you will say ramzan what happened what happened here is i used a sequence formula and i said another formula in that count formula so it will count how many rows are there and on his own he will put the serial number so you will say ramzan very good but more benefit the benefit will be this see i am going down in this control down arrow key i go down this serial number came here want to see the more magic and you will say this is amazing in future if you add more data you see what happens i'm just adding i'm just copying this and pasting it down automatically serial number is coming how this is coming you know because we have put a formula over here which is selected entire column he is counting there are how many rows and that many serial number is also. so you go on just putting the data over here and he will go on putting the serial number interesting something new okay so this is the magical formula which you should use so the first formula for you is equal row and minus 2 so you will get from the row number 1 this is best formula another one is equal sequence and you just put the numbers and press enter and it gives you this and the third is the equal sequence with count a formula third formula you might say ramzan this is little bit more but it is interesting right 